happy Halloween. Joint, joint, joint. If you dare. Was the night before Halloween, go through my house, not a monster was stirring, not even a mouse. Igor was snuggled, all safe in his bed. He lay there so still, you'd think he was dead. The bats were all hung around the chimney. I recently asked Glenn about his involvement and the importance of Halloween to the occultist. Well, my involvement in uh, satanic worship was I was involved in it as a child. Of course, I was a generational Satanist, what they call a generational Satanist. And what that means is that my family was involved in it and their family before them. Now, my earliest rememberings of Halloween and some of the things that were involved was it was a very dark time for me as a child. It was something that um, I didn't enjoy. Glenn, could you tell us about your involvement in any rituals at Halloween as a child? There was a, another little girl that was involved in the, uh, the occult with me, and her name was Becky. Now, Becky was another, a different type of child. She was uh, blessed to be a sacrifice. I was being blessed to be a high priest, where she was being blessed and born into the, the coven there to be a sacrifice. Now, we were in a ritual where we were married together. Um, it was a marriage to the beast. Well, as we turn the corner here, here are 250 or more different editions of Dracula. The uh, Japanese call him Devil Man Dracula. And Frankenstein, 250 of of them, uh, Japanese uh, pronunciation, Frankenstein. Also available from Saturn Productions, Circle of Fear, Castle of the Walking Dead, Blade of the Ripper, The Devil Walks at Midnight. Members of satanic and occult groups come from all walks of life. Many are highly intelligent individuals. Michael A. Aquino, senior initiate and founder of the Temple of Set in San Francisco. Michael A. A senior initiate and founder of the Temple of Set in San Francisco. Michael. Tired of spending hours carving misshapen holes into the side of a pumpkin like some kind of silly bipedal mammal? Hey kids, isn't this fun? Well now we got a product just for you. It's called an automatic shotgun. 
Hi, I'm a totally legitimate business being. Not some being wanted in seven galaxies for armed robbery with a neutron bomb that's currently trying to evade capture from the So come on down to totally legitimate business beings. Wacky! Shotgun Smashing Emporium. We got shotguns for adults, and shotguns for kids, and shotguns for lovers. <laughs> so come on down to totally legitimate business beings. Sm I f what, what did I say? If you are too frightened to stay to see the rest of the picture, you can present this certificate at the Cowards Corner and get your full admission price refunded. Oh, and please, don't reveal the ending of to your friends, or they will kill you. If they don't, I will. Ish the drat of the Ramas ma vole ma bagath arsh sidar mong the nofras dil kaunart arpoth just um the vo garete sum turzur katripilar da muf kanji na da at kwash da vo na ta da vo sum na at tak san persa nan Ta dar thorsu Mab at a tukar lum Na ta dar thorsu Mab at tuk zehet strobasre Na ta rafdur thorsu Ma ta at dar krahor hida Nanta Wadar Thursu Mabta Ach et Ashen Parthud Desartu ne ind Parthur You will not only lose your mind, but your soul. There are four different symbols which refer to the mark of the beast, or Satan. Three sixes in a row. Three sixes facing inward of each other. Three Fs in a row, F being the sixth letter of the alphabet. Also, with the bloody video horror that made me puke on my Aunt Gertrude on the Bean Channel. Introducing Spooky Goop, horrifying monster makeup you make up at home. Spooky Goop's bubbling lizard lips, bat bones, and toad toes create a ghoulish goop. Now that's the face no mother could love. Spooky Goop, spine tingling makeup for Halloween or any unearthly occasion. It is midnight. 
midnight yet. Who told them they could leave? They never leave before midnight. Well, they've gone now. I was going to ask you whether you wanted to stay or not, but it seems that the caretakers have made the decision for you. We're all locked in now. But I don't want to stay. And I'm sorry, my dear, but it's too late now. Darling, haven't you had enough of the silly game? Get some cars up here for these people and let them go home. But pay them first. This is your party, remember? In spite of my wife's faith in my ability to do the impossible, we will all have to stay in this house until 8 o'clock in the morning. But we have some party favors for you in these little coffins. This is my wife's idea. I must say, I think it's rather dangerous. I suppose you all know how to use one of these things, but in case you don't, you just press down on this lever with your thumb and then pull the trigger. You see, they're loaded. I've been seeing things. Hallucinations about Mary Lou Maloney. That girl who died in our school. Mary Lou Maloney is back for the prom. <laughs> Hello, Mary Lou. Prom Night 2. Read it on. Starts Friday at a theater near you. Check newspaper for future times. Now back to the bloody video horror that made me puke on my Aunt Gertrude on the Being Channel. Well, um, what about... Go ahead. <laughs> no, you go first. I was going to say, uh, didn't you see Ramon with... Detective Caggiano? Just recently? Yeah, I did. I think maybe uh, he killed him? It's a good possibility. I mean, his boss died. You know, Detective Caggiano died. Maybe also that, you know, that girl. Maybe maybe he'll find out that it was her girl, his girlfriend or something like that. I guess we won't know until we uh, question him once again. <laughs> so where, where is he now? I just let him go at the station. Uh, we didn't have any other questions to ask him. Damn. Were there any witnesses to this? Oh, yeah, there's, um, this guy over here. All right, let's ask him a couple questions. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell him what you told me? Well, I was ta talking to the, the colonel here, and I saw a guy walk by with, with what could be my breakfast. Sean! We thought you were dead, but then we heard you screaming, and... She's right, Sean. We can come back. Three of us. Hello, I am film critic being you just saw a clip from the, the the horror movie called Dark Harvest. Um, I am a film critic being, and here with me is f another film critic being. I I you know before let's before we get into uh, the debate. I for one, this movie was so scary, I pooped my pants. Now we beings don't usually have pants, but um, j just imagine big big pants. And um, a and it just it filled with pee. Uh, it's movie. It's, um, that it's scary. Um, it's about um, a scarecrow. And he uh, he he go ooh. Who are you kidding? You don't even have nerves. It's seven pumpkins out of nine. Yes, well, um, I think you're completely wrong, and not only are you wrong, but um, you should you're you're bad bad being for for liking this this one this movie. Um, you bad. I think this movie was so bad that um, uh, when I went to go when the movie started, I went to the restroom and and I had to take a long 
being poopy and when I came back the film was over and so the poopy I took that was the movie uh one pumpkin out of seven this has been two film beings on cinema next week we will look at the romantic comedy directed by Pierre Paolo 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 um titled 120 Days of Sodom otherwise known as Salo thank you Blocking my shot. You should remember these important dates because they will coincide with numerous reports of abductions, missing persons, and ritual crimes. I accepted this witch's invitation. Rod turned to a serpent, and the three Egyptian magicians did the same. It's as if you're sitting there in that stunned moment where your faith gets violated.
but one last obligation. Next time, think twice before you rumble with a man of God. She is the man of God. Reeves can't deal with a man. Twice the pride, double the fall. Holy earplugs, made of wax, from the candles of the rosary, peace of the true cross. <laughs> Did I not?